Hi everybody, interim editor of A Moment of Service, Matt Dow here. Uh, the other day, like a week or so ago, I got a box from Waverly Press and I put a picture on A Moment of Service and I said I was going to go through it. And, well, this is the video where I go through it and it took so long because I'm a busy, busy guy. Uh, so anyway, this wasn't necessarily in the box, but it's neat Waverly Press stuff that you can get from Service Overload, I believe. Let me double check with checking on the websites right now come on now all right what do we got all right first up is the ash can which is sold out and you can't get it and i'm just rubbing it in if you don't have one you want one and i apologize no i don't i got one you did you didn't and it came with a couple of the regency high society cards come on focus and I think some of the spawn cards. So, I don't know if the spawn cards are still available on service overload or not. But if they are, they are. And if they're not, well, you know. I... And then, let's see. What is this? Uh, no pictures. Where's this one? This one. So this, I believe, is the promotional cover, the crossing over in black. On the website, they have it as crossing over on white on black, so I'm not 100% sure if this is a promotional promotional or if this is the actual promotional, uh, but this is something else they sent me because they're such nice people and, and, and I pimp for them like I'm doing right now. Ooh, look, it's... Number 15. Out of how many? I have no idea. I'm, I don't feel like opening it up. Alright, now to the box that I actually got with the stuff that was in the box. And I opened it up from the bottom of the box and started at the bottom of the stack. So, But I flipped everything over so you're getting it that way. First up is a little baggie. And in the little baggie, oh, be still your beating little hearts, huh? Let's see, what do we got? What do we got? It's like Christmas, if you're a service fan, and me. All right. There is the gold hollow foil service as spawn sticker. The regular old service as spawn sticker. And let me just double check real quick, like. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Uh, that's not it. Uh, I think, I don't know if, if the stickers come with other stuff or if they were available by themselves. They're not currently listed as being available. So this might be another one of these, I got mine, you guys are screwed. Then, switching from the spawn, which I know some people are going to be going, no, no, there's nothing but spawn. These, I got three of them are the High Society Regency Edition stickers that come with the High Society Regency Edition. And as he checks really quickly on the interwebs, come on now. Uh, loading, 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 thinking about it. It's thinking, it's thinking. Let's see. This is the Collosion Pin Sticker Set. This is the sticker you get, which is... A nice little service. Then, since we're talking about, it also comes with the collosion pin, which I got one. I think I paid for one of these. So this might be the one I paid for. This might be a bonus one they sent me because they love me. And then speaking of collosion pins, back at the Spawn 10, there is service as Sarah Spawn. And I believe the eyes glow in the dark, but when I tried it, my eyes, I held it up to a really bright light and my eyes couldn't focus in the dark, so maybe they do, maybe it doesn't. Alright. What else is in the box, Matt? What else is in the box? Oh, for the love of all that's holy, what else is in the box? Uh, a pack of Spawn 10 trading cards. And it's a pretty thick pack. And I don't think there's that many cards, so I'm going to really quickly just 
fast as my little hands can open it. Uh, pull these up, pull these up. Alright. It is... It's a whole... Well... It's a whole bunch of spawn trading cards. Ooh, look! This is... This big stack is all the original art card where you can get your favorite artist. That's not me, because I know nobody loves me. The sketch and sign. But uh, I got enough of them. Maybe I will be sending some of them out to people. Let's see. Ooh. Some high society Regency edition cards. The uh, service in the snow with the sword. Debbie Harry Elf with service. A regular old elf. And then the Sir Spawn. I think it's a nine card set of new art by Dave for the card set. For the remastered edition. Ooh, these are fun. So these are all. This is three of the same card. It's card number 33, the Chromium Hollow Foil 1990 Don't You Love It service. Hold on, let me hold it up so that it's correct to the camera. Then, three of the Chromium Hollow Foil 1990 Don't You Just Love It spawn cards from Crossing Over. And another, so four. Ooh, and two more of these, so five. And then... Dave's version of Spawn with Cyan from the Remastered. The card that comes with the Ash Can, number 22. The Gramma Variant Cover Detail, number 25, and another one of them. The Supplement Book Cover, oh, focus, number 23, and Service and Spawn, number 24. So a big old pack of Spawn cards, and I think I have all of these. So they, some of these might be duplicate for the people going, I need this, I need this, Matt. Give it to us, give it to us. And send an email to a moment of service at gmail.com and I'm your Huckleberry. I'll see what I can do. I'm willing to make a deal. Oh. All right, I'm going to put those back later. What else is in the box, Matt? What else is in the box? <gasps> More cards. Big old stack of cards. Cards from the High Society Regency Edition. For those of you playing at home, this is number 61 out of a card set that I think only had 8 cards at the beginning with service number 1 remastered. So let's see what's in this bag. Cards. Alright. My society card. The moon roach. Wickets. Focus so you can read it. Service going to drop you into the harbor. Consider it your first lesson in being a good loser. Philgate. Lord Julius's ex squeeze. The card actually says that I'll be really happy. It doesn't. Uh, service in the fuzzy sweater. Uh, Jaka from the night before. Would you still kill a yak for my stupper? Uh, the Abbess of Good Abbey. Ah, eh, see? Nailed it. Your goat is eating my habit. Which is a lot funnier when you hear Margaret Liss say it. Almost as funny as her saying Karamazic. It's an inside joke. Uh, Lord Julius himself. Now, this, if you 
real service fans will know that that is not a quote from the series. Lord Julius never says this in the book. And he appears in this outfit in his first appearance with the Walls of Helmuth. This is actually, little known service fact, uh, Dave was going to do a card set at one point and design this way back in the day. The Wuffa Wuffa guy, Lord Storm's End. Bran McMuffin. Duke Leonardi. Uh, Blakely, the character that just, if he's the most powerful politician in all of uh, East, then how come the uh, guy at the front desk didn't know his name? Something's always bugged me about that book. The Elf. Uh, this guy, who is never really named in the series, the commander of the garrison, of... come on, Dirty Flegel McGrew and his brother Dirty Drew, I say, I say, Elrod of Melvabone, last ruler of a dying race. Elrod Bunny. Service Tree. I actually have an Elrod bunny that I had Dave draw for me at the Norman Rockwell Museum on a in the kids area. They had a thing where you could you could uh, draw your own Saturday evening post cover. So it's a eight by eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper. That's a Saturday evening post with a logo, and I had Dave draw the Elrod bunny on it. But anyway, here's the tree sketch back. Speaking of the little artist chap. Razzin Fran hit bunny, Razzin Frazzin trees, Razzin Frazzin politicians. I think I selected that quote. But I could be wrong. This guy, who may or may not be bare, ah, see, he's a mercenary. Uh, <laughs> Lord Rodney, the Minister of Optimism. I remember when being poor was a very specialized trade, and now everybody's getting into it. We hear you, Rodney. We hear you. Oh, look, another Lord Rodney. The Albatross. I'm not reading that out loud. Here, let me get my hand so that... And this is not... Yeah, this isn't the Regency. I thought it was the Regency when I first saw it. But actually, it is the Sanctum of Tarim. And this is another card from the card set that Dave did. Because I think there were like 12 cards that he designed... I actually have a bootleg I made of this. Uh, look, it's a map. It's the map from High Society, right? Remember, ever, remember what page that's? Yeah, this isn't actually from High Society. This is another card from the card set. This is the Regency. See? Very, very similar in design. And that's why you could... Anyone can make the mistake of thinking the top one's the bottom one, but it's not. Because this is all, you know, pre gerhard The Regency Hotel. Yeah, I helped write that one. And then, Debbie Harry again. So, these are the cards you're getting from the High Society 28 card set. And it is available from serviceoverloads.com. You lucky, lucky peoples. Alright, what else is in the box, Matt? What else is in the box? Not Gwyneth Paltrow's head, I, I swear. Uh, ooh, this is neat. Of 
course it's neat, Matt. Everything's neat. No, 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 but this is really neat. See, it's a pen. But, let's see if we can get, get in there. It's a wooden pen that says the Regency Hotel. I'm assuming this is a blue. And this is black. Oh, yeah, this one turned out a lot better. You can actually read it. Let me hold them up together. The printing on the black one is a very black, and the one on the blue is... It's just engraved. It doesn't have the, uh, the ink on it, so you can see it better. There we go. Regency Hotel Pens. Which, as we all know, aren't actually from the book, because they used the quill pens. But still. Neat. Uh, what else is in the box, man? What else is in the box? Oh, this, this big, look at that, look how thick that is, that's, look how thick, that's huge, it is, first glance, there's some of the service remastered number one bookmarks, and there is a Mind Games 2 Regency postcard, and what's this on this side? The Regency Hotel. This is the uh, stationery set. Uh, let's open this bag. Look at these bad boys. Uh, hey. Est or Est. I always mispronounce it and I always get yelled at. Margaret's probably watching the video right now, screaming at her computer. And everybody at work is going, What the heck is wrong with her? But they should know that by now, right, Meg? All right. Is this... All right. We will come back to this in a second. So, yes, that's the Regency notepad. So if you ordered a Regency edition, you're going to get one of these bad boys. And I think one of the pens, too. Then, five, count them, five service bookmarks. I'm not a fan of them. It's just too hard. That's from the alternate animated opening of uh, Service TV, if I remember right. Someone in the comments is going to come stop by and say, You're an idiot. You don't know where that's from. Yeah, I forget. All right, I'm old. Anyway, <clears throat> and this, the rest of the stack, is all Regency Hotel postcards. And I got a number of these things. I got some of these from Dave, too, signed. Here are a bunch of these. So, from Mind Games 2, I believe. From the denouement of the book. One mustn't f forget the importance of missing breakfast in uh, geopolitical... I forget the story's actual line. <clears throat> Service High Society. This is from the Remaster Service number one. The promotional cover, the postcards. A wad of Debbie Harry. And then, oh, be still your little beating hearts. Some of you is going to be all crazy. Spawn 10, the supplement image cards. Let's get a good look at the front. Spawn 10, and then on the back, with the point. What does it actually say? Spawn 10 Remastered Art by Dave Sim 2020. <laughs> uh, another wad of the same card. I think there's like, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13! Lucky 13 of Cape Ends 500 Feet, the uh, original service's spawn image from the back of Spawn 4 or 5. 3? But this is the one that uh, Dave did for Todd, and then Todd had it printed out so Dave would have something to sign when they were, I believe, at WonderCon together in the 1990s, like 93, before the book came out. Uh. Service Regency postcard, another one, another big stack of them, backside. 
Oh, we'll do this one next. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six of the night before postcard from the Regency. And if you're getting the Regency uh, edition, you're getting these. And it's available as a six postcard set, so all the Regency postcards you can buy from serviceoverload.com. I don't know if there's any special promo code right now, but if, as soon as I find out, I'll let you know. And lastly, but not leastly, the Crossing Over postcard with more of the uh, Todd McFarlane esque. Oh, oh, wow, Matt, you got a great box, isn't it? It's, a, it's great. Bunch of stuff. But wait, there's more. Uh, set this here. Next in the box. Sealed in their own individual little itty bitty ash can size bags is another Regency uh, notepad and a second Regency notepad. So that's three notepads total. And again, if you ordered the Regency edition, you're probably getting one of these. I believe it was included with all of them. I don't think it was only in the super limited ultra high end ones. And if it was, well, nee, 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 nee. No, I'm kidding, Jeff. I'm kidding. Calm down. Sit back down. You're upsetting your cat. All right. What else is in the box, man? What else is in the box? A service number one remastered first issue, the unexpanded ten dollar edition. Along with the postcard and all the other little goodies, I will open this up quick just to show everybody the goodies that you already saw, that you probably already have. Let's see, there's the comical books, but another postcard, another bookie mark. Come on, the bookie mark, stand up. Uh, the service number one, actually service uh, the the fanzine. Uh, mascot logo, the first round of service. Uh, service the trading card, numero uno. Service the trading card, number four. I actually think I need a, another number four for my secondary set. Henrot, based on Frank Thorne. Rest in peace, Frank. Uh... The Elf. I think this Elf image is the one from the uh, original High Society trading card set that Dave created back in the day. I believe. And of course, uh, the Prime Minister Service himself. Actually, this might be Candidate Service. Oh yeah, it says Prime Minister, but I think that's the Candidate outfit. Prime Minister is when he got the Fru-Fru cape. So anyway... All that with hold on, put it back with this. Anyway, so yes, this little package, uh, which according to the website says, uh, I'm on the wrong one. I'm looking at the High Society Regency Edition. Let me go back to the. Up, 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 up. Remaster single issues, and availability is the red version, this one. It is available, along with the gold, the platinum, and the promotional edition. Uh, speaking of which, back to the box, back to the box. There is all this, which is... Let Matt open up the bag and show you what's in his box. Because everybody loves what's in that box. Hey, screw you guys. I'm not a musician. Ah. Uh, so, here is a copy of the Gold Expanded Edition. The $20 Gold Expanded Edition. All goldy. All expanded. A copy of the $30 Platinum Edition. Was still available uh, according to the websites. Number 154 of 500, signed by David Victor Sim himself. Uh, come on, focus. There we go. 154. Dave. All right. And then, because 
The Waverly Press likes to torment Matt. Three, count them three, service the sketchbook, blank sketchbooks. Which, uh, I'm uh, doing something with, but uh, shh, that's a secret. A very well kept secret. So, alright. We'll add this back in its little protective baggie so that it doesn't get wrecked by, you know, wife. Eh, maybe that later. What's in the box, man? What's in the box? Come on, everybody, everybody. You guys aren't loud enough. Alright, also in the box. Near in the bottom of the box, I can see cardboard. It is a copy of Service, The Secret History of the Counterfeit Service, The Aardvark Number 1, which uh, I helped edit, supposedly. Mostly it was going around going, oh yeah, this is, what I, this is what I have laying around about the counterfeit. Another copy of The Secret History of the Counterfeit Service, The Aardvark Number 1. Another, another copy. Of the secret history of the counterfeit service, the artwork number one. I'm gonna go down the way. Okay, now be still, y'all. You're beating hearts. I don't want anybody having a heart attack because it's, here's a copy of Spawn 10. I believe this is the supplement. Experience the legend from the beginning. Service the artwork. This is a one of the uh, sketch covers that Dave did for the blank sketch cover. It's, this isn't an original. This is a printing. This is what it looks like, printed. Don't 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 be getting all crazy now. Let me pop this little bad boy open to see what the heck it is, because I didn't even look. Ugh. This is the remastered and expanded supplement to Spawn Ten. By the way, for all these people freaking out, where's my Spawn 10? It, uh, supposedly the emails are going out with the email confirmation, so just patience. They're coming. They're coming. Around this video on a moment of service should be pictures of all the books. Okay, there you go. Okay. It's all of Dave's art. And, you know, where it goes in the book and stuff. Oh, that, 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 that. Eh. Oh, there's the, there's the cover progress. There's Dave's service on the original Spawn 10 cover. The uh, studies of a new cover by Dave Sim highlighting one of the most memorable moments from Spawn number 10. And then, like, you know, the finish version. Oh, yeah, that, that, that cover. I love that cover. Dave faxed me this cover, and I put my characters in it and put in a joke. Uh, preliminary sketch for the new Hell Society cover. Of the remastered edition of Spawn number 10, Dave, some studies for an unfinished variant cover, Spawn number 10. Uh, preliminary cover sketch of the Todd McFarlane, facts to Dave in 1993. Note service face on the corner image logo, which did not appear on the finished cover. Oh, that's on the right. Uh, Dave suggested service revision, which was used in the final cover. So this is the original Todd. This is what we should do. And this is Dave going, no, we should do that. Uh, oh, all well, the service... As Sir Spawn cards. And, oh, this image. Yeah, Dave faxed me a bunch of the preliminaries. This was a cover that he was going to do, and it just didn't work. And it says that down there. All right. So this is the supplement book. So if you order the supplement book, you're getting this. And if you didn't order the supplement book, it may be or may not be sold out. Check serviceoverload.com. I'm not done yet. There's more in the box. Uh, but I'm taking a minute to put my comic away. I don't want my comic getting wrecked. And if you don't like it, well, you can go find somebody else's unboxing video where he never shows the box. Man, these are really small bags. Okay, I'm not putting it away. Next, and almost finally, the bottom of the box. The bottom of the box contained. Drum roll. Be still your little beaten hearts. Service, the High Society Notebook, the white cover, with a little drunken Prime Minister Service on it, and on the back is the uh, preliminary uh, what 82 tour, there's the image, and the post, what's the poster, and where David's going to go, and this, this is the white, and if I remember correctly, there's less of these than there are of the black. 
service. The oh man, that is really black and shiny in the bag. I should probably pull it out so that you can see it. Okay, I'll pull it out so you can see it. Oh, everybody, wait while I, while I rip the tape. Uh, 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 oh, it won't come out. Oh, it's so tight. Uh, I was playing it first, but then it did really get tight. All right, so service. The no, it's not mint because I'm touching it with my bare hand. I don't care. Uh, service the high society notebook, the black cover. Look at that service. And what, what, what's that in the corner? Oh, it's Debbie Harry. Hi, Debbie. How's it going? So, and what's in the notebook? See, I, I, I mistakenly thought that the notebook was a blank notebook with a high society cover on it, and, and I ordered one because I'm like, oh, that'll be neat. And then, and then I thought about it and went, no, that's dumb. They wouldn't make that. And then, and yeah. So, uh, oh, oh. Here's an introduction about what's going on, and oh, who's that by? Margaret! Everybody say, yay, Margaret! That, 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 that's not Margaret. That's, uh, that's one of the, uh, one of the filthy legals. So, here's all the notebook stuff that Margaret posts on Amok about high society. Go slower, Matt. We want to read that. No, buy your own. This one's mine. Oh, is that the end of your box, Matt? Yes, that is the end of the box. But is that the end of your stupid video, Matt? Oh, God, no, that's not the end of my stupid video. Because not only did I get a box in the mail, but after I got the box and posted the picture and talked about how I was going to make a video of me opening the box, I then got a tube. What's in the tube? The Internet is tubes. I heard that on. What's in the tube, Matt? What's in the tube? Okay. What's in the tube? I'll show you what's in my tube. Y'all want to see my big brown tube? Huh? My big brown tube? Huh? Huh? Is that enough innuendo for you, Jeff? Okay. In the tube. In the tube. It's stuff that doesn't want to come out of the tube. Yeah, that's everything that's in the tube. All right. In the tube. The tube. The tube. In the tube was this. What the hell is this, man? What the hell is that? It's Spawn 10 covers as posters. What? Yeah, I think these are available on the website. Let me let me let me quick uh take a take a look at loo. Let me make sure that I'm not just tormenting you with things you can't have. Let's see what it say. What does it say? Select version. Yeah, oh, apparently you can't. Uh, you can't buy these. Oh wait, you can. No, wait, you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? 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 what, what? Uh, set of four signed Spawn Ten posters. Hey, what do you know? Look, it's signed by Dave Sim. It's a signed autograph poster. There's, there's. These posters are bigger than I can get on camera. There's the Ga superhero comic. Uh, set that down so it don't get wrecked. There's the Ga color signed by Dave Sim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Focus, focus. I know. Uh, there's Hell Society signed by Dave Ingo. There's service. I ripped this off. It was fun. I should rip off Dave more. <laughs> I do. And finally, lastly's signed by the Dave Sim. Oh no, my big brown tube. Get that out of the way. Signed by Dave Sim. Spawn 10, all the hero hands. <sighs> Crossing over. Oh, look, it's the Black Panther hand. And uh, that's probably the Flash. Oh, there's Thor. Wonder Woman, that guy. There's 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 Wolverine. Uh, that's probably a Hulk. Uh, wait a minute. Nope. Not for a second. The one hand had too many fingers. There's an Iron Man. No Spider Man. The whole reason I bought Spawn Ten back in the day was because it had Spider Man. I'm bitterly disappointed when the free poster signed by Dave I got in the mail. That's right. They're free. This is what you get when you're the king. All right, so that was what was in the box and what was in the tube. The gloriously big brown tube. 
And I want to say almost everything is available. Let's see. Spawn 10 posters is available. The Sir Spawn of Animal... Uh, enamel pin is available. The Grandma Platinum cover is available. I'm not sure how that works. The Grandma Color cover is available. I'm not sure how that works. The Promotional Crossing Over cover is available. The Supplement is available. The Blank Logo cover is available. The Sketch cover is available. The Deluxe Edition, the Platinum Classic set, the Classic set, the Standard Gold set, the Standard Colored set, and the Ash Can is the only spawn thing sold out on Service downloads or service <coughs> overload.com. And since I'm here and I'm doing this, are we doing this? Oh, yeah, we're doing this. Uh, service remastered number one single issues available to add to the cart. The red 24 page edition, the red 24. Oh, wait a minute, let me make sure this doesn't say sold. Okay, the red 24-page edition, the gold edition, the platinum edition, the promotional edition, uh, secret Sir, secret origin of the uh, service counterfeit number one, pseudo-edited by me, Margaret Liss, and Eddie Gahana, uh, is available. The service sketchbook is available. The service sketchbook signed is sold out. I, I'm kind of confused by that one. All the signed stuff sold out. Uh, service, All six service books Number one books are available. And checky, checky, checky. Let's check to see whether the High Society Regency Edition stuff is available uh, as fast as Matt can. So, all the bundles are sold out. The 28 card set is available. The 28 card set times two for the people that want to have a set in the bag and a set to put in their card holders. I had to go buy card holders for the first time in uh, like 20 years. Um, the Collosion Pin and Sticker Set is available, the High Society Notebook is available, the Six Postcard Set is available, and the Regency Hotel Notepad Slash Pen Set is available. And, rounding out, what's available on serviceoverload.com is, uh, well this is the, the random stuff, so it's kind of weird. Uh, the Sir Spawn pin is available. The Sir Spawn, Service number one pin in gold is available. Uh, the Service number one poster collector is available. The Service number one poster on sale here is available. The Spawn card set is available. The five pack blank service cards is available. That's the where you get somebody to draw for you. I think I gotta check. I might, I might, I might need that one. Uh, the Service number one bonus pack. I don't know that is is available and the sign numbered service number one untrimmed platinum service number one remastered edition cover is available all right so hopefully you know go to service overload here wait hold on. let me wait, back this up for a second go to that place oh, i can't see it damn i was really hoping that was gonna work uh, nope and let me turn the brightness down how do you turn the brightness down? Alright. Let's see if this works. Serviceoverload.com. Oh, look at the wavy lines, man. Isn't that groovy? Wow. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. Serviceoverload.com. And again, there may be some kind of promotional sale thing happening. I don't know. I'm just a little cog in a much larger machine. But there you go. Thank you for watching my 39-minute video of me showing you crap I got for free that you have to pay money for. And I hope it just inspired you to go spend money because I don't get paid either way. I really don't care. Good night, everybody. Last one out. Get the lights.